Arr, fellow sound design pirates, today we shall explore forbidden dark black juju possibilities of using reverb in order to enhance our one-shots in our game ambience. So basically I have the sounds that sound like that. Okay, put them in the sound queue, they get uh, chosen uh, randomly, put into different modulators which change the pitch and the volume a lot, like a lot a lot, which means they will play also in different lengths and it sounds like that. Okay, why does it sound so crazy? It's because there's a submix inside the sound queue. The submix has a reverb effect on it, and this reverb effect is set pretty crazily to just sound forever, and its wet level is very high. Why? Because inside my game I want the ambiences to be like uh, three-dimensional, so spatializable. Spatializable? <laughs> so you can locate them in a 3D space, these are the settings. But I want them to be super quiet, but I want the reverb to fill out the ambience. So I'm gonna take you through this portion of the level, which is... Um, Ola, why so quick, dude? Which is very subtle. Um, maybe not too much, because I just raised it for the video. And this area, which is like heavily saturated with that uh, sound. So you will hear the effect, you know? It's, it's, I think it's a cool way to color an ambience if you do it very subtly. This is uh, a bit strong for the video purpose. Nice. Nice. You see? All this coloration, metallic one, is from the reverb. And I know it's a bit unrealistic and stuff, but for a creative effect, this is pretty cool. Bad ghost, go away, or I shall pirate shoot you away. Alright guys, that's it. That's a, like a <laughs> crazy way to use reverb, but it's pretty cool. Enjoy your day, pirates!